Hey my loves, welcome back to Between Us Tarot. I hope you guys are having a really good day so far um, whenever you're finding this video. And yeah, so as you can see by the title, we are going to be looking at what does the universe, what is the universe trying to tell you basically? Um, just because, you know, I was just thinking like sometimes we get so many synchronicities and like I don't know, or we think something's a sign and then we're not sure. I get people asking me about that sometimes, so <laughs> um, I'm like, you know what? That would be a really good topic to cover, um, to see like what maybe like if your intuition was trying to tell you it and see if it lines up with what the universe is trying to tell you. So I'm really excited to be doing this. Um, I also uploaded a different video today on the Mystic Soul Tribe channel. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check that out. Um, yeah, so I'll have that link down below if you guys want to go see that. But yeah, this isn't necessarily a love reading, okay? So I don't know what's going to pop up. I just shuffled, cards came out. Um, so we'll see. Because like, I know <laughs> sometimes not everyone wants to hear about love and I totally get that. That's why I'm trying to do like different types of videos, but I can't help it if some type of love comes through okay but i am gonna try to see as many signs um i guess as many scenarios as i can within the reading so all right my love so go ahead and pick your pile we have three of them so we have pile one pile two and pile three so for pile one we have this like mm, it's this blue stone so <laughs> i don't know what this one's called but it's a blue stone really pretty okay that's our pile one our pile two is this clear quartz you can't even see it really on camera i hope it's picking up <laughs> and then pile three is this pink calcite oh you really can't see this one there we go it's pink calcite it's pink with like white swirls okay so i'll give you guys a little bit of time And then let's start with pile one. All right, my pile ones. Okay, pile one. So let's see. Um, for those of you that chose this blue crystal, what what is the universe trying to tell you, or just like any higher power, really? What are they trying to tell you? So I'm gonna have to there we go that's a lot better and actually let me see if I can get a little closer for you guys yeah that's way better there we go and let me get the bottom of your deck energy if I can find it <laughs> I set it to the side somewhere hmm. <laughs> sorry you guys I where did I put it oh there it is it was hiding underneath something um all right, so let's see. So here's the bottom of your deck. All right. So what is the universe trying to tell you, my loves? Let me look at your tarot. Okay. So... What I see here, pile one, um, is I do feel like there's someone in your life, okay, that cannot stop thinking about you, and I don't, you guys let me know down below, but you guys are gonna know, because I feel like this is a very straightforward message, you guys are gonna know, um, but we have the Knight of Swords, okay, it's like, yeah, and it's like, they can't help it. They just keep thinking about you, keep thinking about you, and keep thinking about you. And I feel like they want to come forward to talk to you more. But it, they're a little bit... It's funny, because the Knight of Swords... The Knight of Swords in other, like, decks, right? They look like they're ready to charge. Um, 
But this guy here, I don't know if you can see, he's a little bit hesitant. His horse is going, so he's moving, right? He's impulsively moving, but um, I don't know. It's like he's thinking about it. Like, should I or should I not? Okay, so that's what I'm picking up so far. It could be a masculine energy, okay, my pile ones. Or it could be feminine. It, it doesn't matter. Gender does not matter. Okay, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. But, yeah, I see that with the Nine of Wands, someone's reluctant here. I even see that, like, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy that you're reluctant. Whoever's watching Pile One, that you're reluctant um, about something. I don't know what it is. Should we get more information? I was going to let this reading just be straightforward, but... <laughs> sometimes i like to get more information um but let's let's keep going we have the lovers here okay you guys i'm telling you i'm not trying to make it a love reading okay so with the lovers this could be about some type of choice so take this as it ever however it resonates if this is something for work or like you know maybe you're thinking about something dealing with work too much okay so please take it however it resonates for a lot of you guys though i do see that do see that this may be love related okay um especially with the lovers here i feel like someone is trying to make some type of decision um what's this decision and then we have the two of wands more thinking because with the three of wands right three of wands is thinking and actually taking action to go towards it but two of wands someone's thinking about the future with you here um, if this isn't love related, you're probably just thinking a lot about some type of opportunity um, or a situation at work and how it's going to be in the future. But top of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Strength. And I have a feeling that both have to deal with you. Okay, and actually, no, I was wrong. I'm so sorry. I just realized that this one fell off. Because I remember when I shuffled, I remember I saw the magician on top, and I just looked in the back of me, and it was there. So this is the one that was on top. This was the one that was right underneath it. Um, and I look at this energy anyways, so. But strength and magician, it's crazy, because if you think about it, there's two infinity signs here. This is for sure... Yeah, this is for sure about someone, you guys, my pile one. You guys will let me know. But whoever this is, you guys have a really strong bond between you guys, okay? I don't see that this is a new person. This is a person that you are in a connection with or you've been in a connection with. And um, I feel like it's my masculine energy here that can't stop thinking about the other person. Honestly, I feel like both of you guys are thinking about each other is what I'm getting from here. Okay, we do have the feminine and the masculine energy here. But even here, like, I feel like, again, in the original tarot, that the lion is usually fierce and, you know, it looks, it looks fierce. But here, he looks really sad. Um, oh. I don't, there was a glare. I'm sorry, my loves. But here, look at him. He looks so sad. And she's comforting him. I feel like your person's missing you. And they're wanting you to, like, comfort them again. I don't know what happened. We'll get more information in a minute. But what's so beautiful is right now, you guys, my pile one, you guys are coming into your full power. And I feel like what the universe is trying to tell you is your person is also coming into your full, their full power. Both of you guys are right now which you guys this is amazing energy like if you, if you think about that both of you guys are coming into this power of manifestation i don't know why i'm getting that but i'm getting that and that's that's beautiful that's actually very powerful because whatever you guys both want to manifest it's you you guys are going to make it happen basically um I don't know like I feel like in the future right now this is not going like I don't see that you guys are a power couple right now but I see I don't know why I'm getting that I'm getting that in the future you guys are going to be um pile one who is this person okay you know what I'm going to clarify with a different deck um 
what deck do I want to use to clarify? We'll use the original tarot. Okay. So who is this Knight of Swords? My loves, can you clarify this Knight of Swords? Can you clarify this Knight of Swords? Can you clarify this Knight of Swords spirit? Oh, that's too many. That was a whole chunk. <laughs> can you clarify this Knight of Swords, my loves? Okay, we'll take that one. Okay. I'm going to take, um, I like to clarify with three cards sometimes, so if you guys have been on my channel before, you guys know I like to do that. Who is this Knight of Swords? Oh, wow. Oh my god, we got four cards. Okay, I'm going to take them. So, in regards to who this Knight of Swords is, okay, we have Justice, Ten of Pentacles, um, and the Star, beautiful cards my loves um what i'm seeing okay is this person that keeps thinking about you they they could be a libra we have the justice card here okay which is a libra card um we also have aquarius could be an aquarius um but whoever this is okay they're working towards some type of security in their life is what i'm getting I, I don't know what that security is. It can be in work. It could be just in their life. But they're working towards some type of security. Um, and eventually, I don't know if they've admitted it to you or not, but they have this in the back of their head. That one day they do want happiness. They do want some type of union. This could represent marriage, but I'm going to keep it very light here because it's not that message not, isn't going to be for everyone. For some of you guys, yes, this person does think about marriage with you. Um, but they just want some type of celebration with you. Like they want to be secure with you and happy. Um, so with those cards to come out, I'm feeling that you guys as of right now may not be. Um, however, that doesn't have to be the case. But let's clarify the Nine of Wands. So Spirit, can you clarify the Nine of Wands? Who's, whose energy is that? Who's the Knight of Wands? Nine of Wands. Okay, we have Temperance. We have Three of Cups. Can you clarify the Nine of Wands, my loves? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry, my loves. Okay, let me put that on mute. <laughs> My friend texted me. All right. So with the nine of wands, because I do see reluctancy here, and I feel like it's you guys. My pile one, it's you guys. Um, because I see like with the temperance card, you're wanting to balance things out. Okay. And I see that your person wants to come towards you and just be happy. Like, they want to be happy again. Because we have the Three of Cups, the Celebration card. We also have the King of Cups. <clears throat> so your person does want to come towards you with a lot of love, okay? Like a love offer. And you may be reluctant to take it. Because you're like, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't... Like, I feel like you want it. But then you're also like, you're also like, should I? Should I do this? Um... For others of you, I'm getting this as a very small percentage here, okay? For others of you, you're scared that there's someone else in the picture. You're scared that there's someone else in the picture is what I'm getting. Um, <clears throat> you guys let me know down below if that resonates, but I'm telling you right now, Pio One, I don't see it. I don't see that there's someone else in the picture, and I will explain why in a little bit. It's because I'm looking at your oracle, but um, we'll get there. We'll get there. So let me, let me clarify, um, I'm going to clarify the two of wands. What, what is this two of wands about, my loves? What is this two of wands about? Oh my god, I can't take all of these, but those are beautiful cards. It's like, there were like six cards. Oh my god, it came out again. Okay, for sure. That's why I said it was beautiful, because I saw that the first time. Perfect. I'm going to get one more. You guys, this person's going to come towards you, for sure. Um, it doesn't... It, it, it doesn't have to be right now, but they're really thinking about it. I feel like they're, they're getting the courage to come towards you, Pile 1. For a lot of you guys, this is the masculine energy. Ooh, I got chills. 
<laughs> this is the oh my god as i said masculine energy look what look what comes out the emperor and look at the bottom of the deck yeah Ooh. <laughs> i'm so excited um i love this okay so who's coming towards you pile one your person's coming towards you and again i do feel like this is a person you know okay um they're coming towards you and they're I feel like they're just going to express that they miss being happy with you. And um, we have the Ten of Cups and, you know, again, a very, like, home family type of card. They you, they look at you as home or as family. You make them feel that way, Pile One, which is so beautiful. We also have the Knight of Wands, which is someone that's very passionate about you. They care about you deeply. Um, I feel like they love you. They love you for sure because we do have the King of Cups coming here. And we also have the Emperor, okay, Pile One? So someone that doesn't necessarily show their emotions, it's almost like a stern, kind of like a stern father figure. I'm not saying that they act like your dad or anything like that, but they're just more on the stern side. Um, you did have the Knight of Swords there. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that the King of Swords didn't come out. But yeah, I do feel that um they're they're going to come towards you and i think that's that well not i think that is what the universe is trying to tell you and you're gonna be reluctant to take on this offer um whatever this is with the lovers here i feel like this person is very passionate about you okay very like look at that oh if you guys can sorry <laughs> so beautiful it almost reminds me of like the Adam and Eve, right? You guys were supposed to meet Pile One, you and this person, okay? I do get the sense that I may be talking to some type of masculine energy here as well. Um, not a lot. Sometimes I get it like really heavy in, in, in different pick of cards. Right here it's light. I don't feel like I'm talking to too many, but I do feel some some masculine watching um yeah okay let's look at your oracle this is beautiful stuff once they make the decision they're gonna go for it um as of right now i see that they're still thinking and the universe is wanting to let you know that but what the universe is wanting to let you know is a lot more and i'll get to it in a second we have the elephant here so we have a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end yeah i feel like you guys are still some of you guys are still in communication with this person although some of you guys aren't um okay but this has been a long journey you and this person it's it's been a long journey <laughs> i definitely see that and that's why you're pretty reluctant on this too um, on taking this offer, okay? But the universe is wanting to let you know that this is this was done for a reason, not just for you to become wiser. Yes, that is one of the reasons, but it's it's way more than that. You're not seeing the the full picture yet, and I don't want to give it away, but that's definitely part of it. Some of you guys could be light workers, um, light workers in a sense that you heal people, okay? you heal people through talking to them you heal people through it could even be touching giving them a hug um you're just a healing person we did have the strength card here and the strength card is someone who's very compassionate very loving and i feel like that's why your person is so attracted to you so loving towards you is because you you do you heal you definitely heal um this is beautiful energy, my, my loves. This is amazing. I'm so glad that I was called to do this reading. Um, we have intention. So 2-2, two, two, 22. Okay. Which adds up to a 4, which is the number of stability. You guys, I am getting so much with this card. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't have to follow this advice, okay? Always, always, always follow your intuition, my loves. Pile 1. But if this person does come in with an offer, it's okay to take it. I'm telling you that right now. It is, I would say take it. <laughs> it's, um, it's a new start. You're, wow. First of all, we have this egg, right? Which to me represents like 
something new is being born. Okay, this is the baby. Something new is being born. Um, I do see that someone made a wish. Okay, I don't know what these are called, but someone made a wish about you and this person. And like, I think things fell apart, but things are coming back together. They will if they haven't yet. Okay, because these, whatever these are, I forget what this plant is called, um, but they're all over. They're all over in the background here. So beautiful. I don't know if you guys have these around you wherever you live, but I'm getting called to say like make a wish on it, set your intention through that and put it in the universe and it's going to come true for a lot of you guys. Um, what the manifestation card here is right now is a great time to manifest. Don't stop manifesting because I feel like some of you guys could be a little bit discouraged, but spirit is saying don't. Your manifestation is coming true. Whatever wish you made, it's coming true. And look at the result of it once you take this offer. I'm getting so much love here because she's literally bathing in a, in like, kind of like this cup, right? Um, the sun card is the happiest card. You're going to be so happy once you take this offer, my loves. My pile one. <clears throat> and I feel like, I feel like it's going to be stabilized, okay, within a year, for sure. We have one, one, I don't think we had any other ones. I think we have two ones with the magician here and the sun here. Um, but within a full year, I'm not saying that it's not going to happen until the end of the year. No, I do. I, I don't know why I feel it coming sooner. Um, it's going to be different for everyone. I feel like coming sooner, but like by the end of the year, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, my God, <laughs> like, I can't believe that I went through that. Okay. Um, yeah, I see, I see like big changes anywhere for like, anywhere from like four weeks to a year. I know that sounds so... <sighs> I don't know why I'm getting like this month too. This upcoming month in May, you may see something. Um, we also have the courage card. Look at this. This is okay. Do you see what I'm seeing, you guys? Because your person is going from like this wounded person to this. And they're finally taking action. They're definitely going to take some action once they balance out, once they clear their mind, and they're going to come forth and tell you whatever they need to tell you. And I, I do see something beautiful coming out of this. Okay, pile, pile one. Um, I don't know what else to say. That That's basically it. That is what the universe is wanting to let you know is someone, someone's definitely coming towards you. Don't stop manifesting. And whatever this... Whatever this is, when they come towards you, look how they're coming towards you, you guys. Very loving. Um, I do feel that for some of you guys, you are going to leave the, you have to leave the past behind. You have to in order to move on if you want this, this person. If not, this is totally up to you, okay? You do not have to accept this offer, but if you do, my loves, it's, it's going to be a happy one. You're going to be very happy. For the sun to, to appear, the ten of cups, you know, it's, it's going to be beautiful, um, my pile one. So that is what I had for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have the other video linked down below if you guys haven't watched it yet. Uh, but yeah, I am going to end the reading there and I'm going to go on to pile two. If you felt called to watch more than one video, go ahead and do so. But I will see you guys next time I lapse. Bye. All right, my pile too. So for you guys that chose this clear quartz, you can't really see it. Um, and like, I don't know if I can make it like brighter. I'm gonna try to, let me see. Maybe if I do this. That might help a little bit. All right, my pile twos. So let's see, what is the universe trying to tell you? First, and also, I, f I always forget to say this in the intro, but if you're ever, like, 
If you ever feel called to watch more than one pile, please do so because you may have more than one message there, okay? Okay. Um, let me get the bottom of your deck. And let me sip some water because my throat is getting dry. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So pile two, what is the universe trying to tell you? My God. Do you guys see Angel of Balance, Balancing Act, and then the Balance card? I swear, you guys, I don't even... <sighs> Sometimes it's so surprising. It's like kind of scary how well <laughs> spirit talks sometimes. I absolutely love it. So pile two, there's some something about balance, but let me just start with your tarot. So we have, okay, what is going on here? Mm. Okay, my pile one. So we have the queen of pentacles here, right? Pile two, did I say pile one? I'm sorry if I did, I meant pile two. Pile two. I feel like there's there's some sort of letdown, okay? There's some sort of letdown. I don't know why I'm getting that. It might not be a letdown, but I'm getting that it is a letdown. That you invested into something and it didn't end up working the way that you wanted it to. Also, messages can always be the other way around, okay? So... Maybe someone invested in your life and it didn't end up working out the way that you wanted to. Um, so it could be vice versa. Always remember that pile, pile two. So, and I feel like someone's stuck. Someone is stuck in some type of energy with the devil being here. <clears throat> However, I'm also getting that someone's highly attracted to you with the devil as well. I'm getting both messages. Someone is stuck in a certain like position in life but they're also like they can't stay away from you is what i'm getting but we'll, we're going to clarify and this situation needs balance and that's what the universe is trying to tell you and i know that because you have three different car cards about balance um it's 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 not so much yes i see that one person gave more than the other okay but I'm, it's not even so much that. I feel like you guys are, what the universe is trying to say that is someone needs to balance themselves out or both of you guys need to um, individually, okay? I am getting that. Some sort of situation here, pile two, it needs to balance itself out. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, okay? It could just, any type of situation, whatever's going on, pile two, something needs to balance itself out. And once it does, it's going to be beautiful. You guys, you guys have the uh, Ten of Pentacles. So if this is a relationship, I see that, wow, a lot of security, a lot of stability is coming your guys' way within this relationship, okay, between you and this person. It's going to be beautiful. You guys may be opposites with the chariot being here. Okay, mm-hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. Top of the deck, we have the four of swords. And I look at this energy as well. Ace of cups. Yes, this is a love situation. It can even be a friendship. But um, I, for most of you guys, I am getting love. I I do sense that there were some obstacles here. Because even, even with the chariot, it could talk about obstacles arising. Okay, but with the chariot, it's wanting to work them out. It's wanting to succeed at them. It's wanting to face them and fix them. So I do see that you guys are going to have a chance to do that with this person. I don't know who this person is, but there was, there were some obstacles here in the past. If they, you know, if there's not any going on right now, there were some in the past, but you guys are going to be able to fix them. And that's when this new love is going to begin, which is so beautiful. We have the Ace of Cups here. This is amazing. Um, I do want to clarify some of these cards. So let's clarify. I want to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Can you guys clarify the Queen of Pentacles, my loves, for my pile two? What's the Queen of Pentacles about? Ooh! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. 
Okay, let me fix this really quick. Because <clears throat> so many came out, and I don't even know. So can, can you um, clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please, my names? I'll try not to drop the cards this time. <laughs> can you clarify the Queen of Pentacles? Ooh, the sun came out, you guys. I love that. <clears throat> we got the Page of Wands. Okay, you guys know I like to clarify with three cards, so I'm going to get two more. Can you clarify the Queen of Pentacles? <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Page of Cups. <laughs> All right. So to start off, to clarify this, um, this, ooh, this Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Cups. So I definitely see that you did give a lot, okay? You gave in all your trust. You put in all your effort. Um, and I see that with this Page of Cups, someone here, well, it's the Page, right? It's not even the Knight of Cups, and it's definitely not the King of Cups. So they gave you something, but it wasn't the full emotion that you wanted, um, and you were really hoping, I, what I'm seeing is with the Wheel of Fortune, oh my, can I talk? With the Wheel of Fortune, you were just, you were very patient. I see that you were letting the divine handle it, my pile too, okay? You were letting the divine handle it, and you're awesome, because I feel like with the Page of Wands here, you've had and continue to have the courage here to keep going, um pile two okay so kudos to you guys because I, I am seeing that let's clarify the devil because i don't feel that that's your energy but let's just see maybe you're, you're the one that feels stuck i don't know can you clarify the devil my loves okay okay so we have the seven of pentacles we have the knight of swords yeah someone can't stop thinking about you and i do feel it's your person Ooh. okay we have the five of wands okay with the seven of swords in reverse someone was okay someone was or is keeping their feelings from you okay um and i see I, de I see deception here, but I see it in a way that they're deceiving themselves. Yes, they're deceiving you because they're not telling you their full feelings, but they're deceiving themselves more <laughs> by not telling you their feelings. Um, I feel like this person does want this to grow, but they don't know how to make it happen. Because like with the Seven of Pentacles here, they're kind of just, they're standing here and they're like, okay, maybe this will grow with time, but they're not doing anything about it. And they can't stop thinking. They can't stop thinking about this. And they have other obstacles in life. Your person may have like other responsibilities to take care of, okay? This could even be inner obstacles, but your person as of right now is stuck. So I can see why there's like such a big um, message about balance. So I'm gonna clarify that. Let me, oh, let me, let me ask for a spirit. <laughs> What needs to come into balance? You guys, hold on. <laughs> what needs to come into balance? What is these uh, the Six of Pentacles about? For a lot of you guys, I do feel like you guys are dealing with um, a soulmate here. Okay. This is beautiful, you guys. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Can you clarify the Six of Pentacles spirit? Can you clarify the Six of Pentacles? Okay. I do see that it's... Okay, I do see that it's it's both of you guys. Um, it's both of you guys, but it's more so like one. So, okay, why I'm seeing that it has to be... This is going to have to be balanced, or what has to be balanced here is... I feel like one's more ready than the other because we have the high priestess. So the high priestess is someone that follows their intuition. They know what they want. Um, they're very aware of it. While my other person here, okay, two of swords, they're not sure. They're not sure. Um, but look at what's in the middle. And I feel like it came out in the middle for a reason. There's a big change happening right now. It could already be taken place. 
my pile uh, two, whoever whoever is watching, there's this change taking place so that balance can occur in your relationship. Something happened. I do see something happened. With the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, beautiful energy, you guys. My God. Spirit is definitely watching over this because with the Hierophant, I always think of the highest power. So whoever you think of the highest power, whether it be God, um, the divine, the universe, they are watching over this and they're making this happen. Um, wow. Wow. All right, let's get into your oracle. Because after it happens, my loves, you're going to have this security with this person and this new love is going to start. Okay? Look, I can't help but peek through. <laughs> we have the four of cups, someone that holds in their feelings, but look at that. Two of cups. You guys are going to come into union. So we have teardrops. It says, great personal sorrow. Oh, my loves. Yeah, someone's heartbroken in this relationship right now. Whatever happened, whatever the situation that happened, someone is sad. And I'm really getting the... Uh, I'm just getting, like, the message that someone needs to learn to follow their heart. Pile two. Um, whether that be you or your person. I don't know. But someone needs to follow their heart. Someone definitely does here. Whether it's you that's watching or your person someone follows their heart here but the other person doesn't again because we have the high priestess right we have the high priestess but then we have the two of swords so someone follows their heart and someone doesn't know how to do that um it's funny because with the two of swords it's a person that's confused and they're kind of like scared of like what's to come what can happen if they do decide to follow their heart but it's funny because once they uh, take off the blindfold, there's nothing to be scared about. The waters are calm. Yes, there's a little bit of rocks, right? Because we all have obstacles, but it's not as bad as they think it is. Um, we have two number twos also, so that's that's funny. Um, okay, well, <laughs> these two are really straightforward. We have Balancing Act and Angel of Balance. You guys, you need to understand that this is taking place. You, how can I say it? You can't avoid this any longer, you or your person, okay? Um, you don't have control over this. This is going to happen regardless, this balance, okay? So if you later on don't want this person, that's fine, but this is still going to take place, Um both of you guys met for this reason, okay? And again, I think it's more so for, again, one person's ready here, the other's not. But so what the universe is trying to tell you is your person or whoever's watching, it could be either or, someone's bal balancing in this connection, okay? Um, and it's going to bring forward so much peace and a lot of love, okay? Um because right now, someone is crying, someone is sad. I feel like someone's beating themselves up because they didn't follow their heart or they don't know how to. And that's okay. That's that's okay. Um, not everyone knows how to do that and it can be scary, but look what's coming. Peace. Yeah, there's going to be peace in this situation. I, I don't know why with the peace card, I, I feel like there's going to be some type, of, some type of reconciliation, okay, between you and this person. Um, you guys, this is beautiful stuff. I don't, I'm so happy. I was telling pile one because the message there was beautiful as well. I'm so happy I did this pile. Um, wow. My pile two. What the heck? Yeah. This is beautiful energy. You guys let me know down below what resonated. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go to pile three. Don't forget to check out the other video that I posted on the Mystic Soul Tribe. And yeah, with that, I'm going to go. Feel free to watch a different pile, okay, if you felt called to another one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, my loves. All right, pile three. So for you guys that chose this pink calcite, ugh, if I can even get it, it's a true color. I'm trying. It's just the sun's so bright. Okay, there we go. 
Um, but, okay, so what is the universe trying to tell you, my love? So let's see. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. Ooh, two kings. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have the, the Knight of Swords. You guys, I think the Knight of Swords came out in every pile today, which is kind of funny. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Cool. Anxiety. All right. Nest. Oh, um, you guys. I swear I do not do this. This is this is so beautiful. I love how spirit talks. Commitment and commitment. <laughs> Two cards about commitment, you guys. Okay. Um, well, we'll see what that's about. But I can already see what the message is going to be because okay <laughs> how did that happen okay so let's here's the bottom of your deck but let's talk um what is the universe trying to tell you my loves let me look at your tarot for a little bit okay all right my loves Okay, my pile three. The feminine energy in this pile is uh, my goodness. My goodness, it is so strong, pile three. Um, I don't feel a lot of masculine energy here. I don't know. <laughs> it's just pure women and, or sorry, gender doesn't matter, okay? So disregard what I just said. Whatever, you can be a man watching um, and just have a lot of feminine energy, okay? Feminine energy is so beautiful. Um, and I think all men need to learn how to tap into that, okay? But awesome. You guys, so with the cards that are here, wow. Okay, I see that you cannot stop thinking about something, uh, my pile three. We have the Knight of Swords. And with this Knight of Swords, like this woman, she's like on a feather and she's just like, she, she's just like soaring. Like, what is her, hmm. her dress has something. It says like, right is worth the cost. Um, <clears throat> but it's almost like she's like in dreamland because she's on a feather and she's in the sky and she's like kind of painting on that cloud right like a little space there <clears throat> but I feel like you guys like kind of like your heads are, are in the clouds like you guys think a lot um about security and I'm saying security because you have the king of pentacles here so you guys think a lot a lot a lot about security and having like a home because i don't know if you guys can see too well but on top of her head that's a little village that's like those are it's a house it's a castle so you dream about this i feel like you dream about a beautiful i don't know outcome is what i'm getting okay um with the king of swords Okay, King of Swords is someone that like keeps their feelings in and stuff. So I'm I'm almost almost getting the sense that maybe you don't tell a lot of people that you think about this. Okay, it's like all it's all inside of you. Like you're lit up with all these emotions and all these thoughts about what the security is and what this love is. Um and it's like you ravel you you you're how do i say it you almost make it like you're um it's all around you is what i'm getting at is you make it become all around you and with the eight of pentacles what i'm getting is that you've been working really hard you've been going through a deep transformation she's literally holding a butterfly she's holding a look at that look how beautiful the butterfly is caressing her and there's butterflies all around her as well you my pile three have been going through a deep transformation my goodness and i feel like what's going on is you're asking yourself when the heck is this ever gonna happen because i'm all by myself here oh 
Ooh, I need to take a step back. Hold on. Because I'm starting to get emotional. <laughs> Hold on, my loves. Give me one second. Ooh. Okay. I'm okay now. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Let's continue. So we have the... um the queen of wands you're very passionate about whatever this dream is and i'm not going to say whatever this dream is it's about commitment you're very passionate about it you think about it quite often um and i can like whew, i can sense your energy it's very like <laughs> um yeah i feel like you guys have been crying a lot um, or you're just sad. I feel like some of you guys are a little bit sad or nervous if this ever is going to come towards your way. I could be wrong. Okay, maybe not all of you guys are in that energy. There's not a lot of like sad cards other than the anxiety. But for some of you guys, I do feel like you guys are going through it. We have the Empress here, you guys. This is who you are. I don't know if you guys have realized it, but you are marriage material. You are... <sighs> you, you are everything all these flowers underneath her dress like you have so much to offer and actually this woman looks really sad because she took off her crown do you see that her crown is in her ha hand she she had it on but she took it off why is that why is that even her dress is made out of a flower and it's pouring out all these other flowers you guys you do not give up on your dream about commitment whoo Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, what the universe is wanting to let you know is it's on its way. Um, we have the nest card here. I have to like take a second to like calm down. I don't know why I'm feeling like that. Um, hold on. Okay, so yeah, some of you guys are even like um, worried about like the next level of commitment. Like, is this ever going to happen? It's going to happen. Hang in there. Don't um, don't think that it's not. So we have the nest, and what it says is, I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can see that. I'm looking at the monitor right now. So we have an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you, and that doesn't mean that you guys have to like want kids, but right now i didn't even read what that said now i'm getting three cards about commitment because you guys want a family and the empress for a lot of you guys you do you want a child what you're manifesting is a child or a relationship or both you want a person that's going to be secure stable loyal and you want to have a child because the empress is someone that's very fertile very 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 fertile um I didn't even look at the bottom of the deck here because this is like the crowning and underlying energy but here we have six of swords so that goes to show me that someone is finally coming towards you um someone's definitely coming towards you we have the anxiety so yeah you guys have been through it you guys have been thinking about this a lot crying a lot this could even be past energy and i see that some of you guys are just giving up on that dream um like is this ever gonna happen <sighs> am i gonna get this am i ever going to get there um yes you are so we have this is so cool you guys we have um two cards about commitment oh my god and i just noticed um we have like six plus three, which is nine, and we have eight plus one, which is nine. You have two nines. Something is happening, you guys. This the ninth month. I don't know why I'm getting that. The ninth month, something's going to happen. It could even be in nine weeks for some of you guys, but when's the ninth month? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. September? Um yeah. I see something happening anywhere during that time two cards about commitment my loves look at that look how beautiful and there's a star here with the key in it um so there's a lot of hope 
there's a lot of hope in this. You guys still have hope. Do not let that hope die, you guys, because it's coming. The universe is wanting to let you know that it's coming and you are going to get your wish fulfillment, pile three. Oh my god. Whew, this pile is the heaviest, but in the most beautiful way. It's just very emotional. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> and then we also have this one. Look at that. Whoever you're thinking about, I feel like, yeah, definitely yin yang um, relationship here. You guys could be soulmates or a twin flame. It's coming towards you, my loves. It's, um, I don't even know how else to say it. It's very clear that it's coming towards you. And you guys have been patient. You guys have been patient. I see that with the Eight of Pentacles. Whew. And you guys are going to get rewarded in such big ways because of your patience, because of the work that you've put, put in, this transformation that you've put in. My goodness, you guys. Um, yeah, this, this, what, whatever is going on here, it's, it's amazing. It's going to be great. Um, I don't know what else to say, Pile 3. You are going to get this commitment. It's, it's beautiful. Do not give up on your dream. That is what I'm being called to say. Um, and keep going keep going you guys are warriors um whew, yeah so i am gonna end the reading there such nice energy um i'm sorry for getting choked up a little bit i don't know i've been i've been a little bit emotional myself these past few days but oh, it's awesome this energy is awesome all right, my love. So don't forget to um, watch the other video on the Mystic Soul Tribe. I'll have that link down below. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye, my loves.